Baldur's Gate 3 lets you turn down every single companion. So I wondered, can I beat the game solo on Tactician? No assistance, no romance, just cold and alone at camp with three extra bedrolls for some reason. And no, not for Withers, unless. I decided on a true rogue run, Murder Hobo Virtuoso. What can I say? I just love killing. Evil and manipulative and unafraid of the consequences. The run started with me deciding on my character. I went with Manly McRoguish, hoping that by embodying the lone wolf, I would somehow manifest it in my soon to be masochistically painful run. Sadly, I can tell you it did not help at all. Here are the rules. I cannot use a companion for combat unless it is a major story event. And that to prove that I can do this, I will do both sides of every main story mission. I will fight every boss and I will do the majority of the campaign. After playing dress up and making my dream girl, no, I am not romancing her. She is too perfect. So wake up in a pod, look at Tadpole Aquarium, loot, loot. I had forgotten at this point the part of this run I was most dreading. Good night, my sweet prince. So anyway, I walk out, Lizelle does a sick flip, and my first hiccup. You cannot turn Lizelle down here. And before realizing that, I fought with her. So I restarted, pod, pool, loot, commit a murder of passion against my baby Billy the Brain, sick flip, and at the start of the fight, shoot Lizelle in the back. It was her fault. She should have never trusted someone so ruggedly, roguishly handsome. She all but asked for a lesson in trust. Kill some lawn ornaments, proceed. Oh look, it's the goth girlfriend all the basic boys are simping for, locked up like all her fans wanted. So I let her out, release her of this mortal coil, and send her to her goddess. Altruistic, if you ask me. After attempting to secure the package, finding out it's still bound on the ship, I move on to the final room of the prologue. Octoboy tells me to play with the tentacles, not his, and so I ignore the BDSM entourage, drink some meth, and sprint straight to the tentacle table. After being saved from becoming a stain in the dirt by my dream girl, I collect myself and find my first surprise of the run. Apparently, if you kill Shadowheart and Lizelle on the ship, their corpses conveniently flop on the ground near you in the wreckage. Nice. Thwarted in my attempt to put the corpses in my camp by my wimpy noodle arms, I continue on. I kill Asterion with a stray crossbow bolt while hunting a nearby boar. A hunting accident. I swear. Curb stomp an Octo guy. And take his hand, he won't make it, I swear. Get to my first real section of combat, and yeah. This is gonna be a really cheesy run. My god. Play a game of crossbow hide and seek with some looters, drop the beat, realize I'm gonna get gang banged in this room, fake a voice, kill five people for some cheese. Trust me, I'm gonna need this cheese later. I'm not even to the settlement, and I have had to save scum so hard already. So, flash fry and skewer some grave robbers, pull all the weapons off some corpses for no reason, I swear sit in some smoke, and watch unarmed skeletons stand still for some reason. Seriously, for some reason this skeleton cast smoke over me, and they all just stood around. Release Peepaw Withers from his dusty tomb. <coughs> for reference, before I move on to the settlement, I might be going over this quickly, but it took me nearly an hour to kill all the bandits in the first area. So my ass is already sweating. Watch this guy go ask Zevlor to let down his hair and stand back while the goblins kill everyone here so that I don't have to dirty my hands with the Blade of Frontiers. For some reason, Zevlor is like, great fighting, bro, even though I killed one goblin and let them do the rest, but all right, blood, where's my coin? Watch a sibling's quarrel from awkwardly close and head off to watch an execution. Kill some goblins with really bad spatial awareness. I mean, seriously. They kind of just stood there while I essentially teabagged while shooting a crossbow at them repeatedly. Then forget about the statues and do it all over again. This is riveting. Head back to the druid settlement, perpetuate misinformation, sell some shit, prevent the murder of a child, 
get threatened over a tiny chance of turning into a Cthulhu-esque brain-eating tentacle monster, steal a tadpole snack for later, pretend to listen to the snake lady talk about snakes, and head on out for some casual goblin murder. On my way to introduce the back of some goblin skulls to my crossbow bolts, I encounter some religious fanatics and convince them to fight a bear the size of an elephant. What? When they walk off, I casually tear a worm out of a dead man's skull with my mind and put it in my pocket. Teabag and shoot the owl bear while ignoring the dying wails of the people I may or may not have convinced to head to their deaths. You can't prove anything in court. I'm innocent. See, my hands are clean. That was bandits. I promise. After felling a feathered fiend, I watch as its cub digs in for a fresh meal. Aw, so cute. On my journey towards the goblin camp, I find goblins. After flashing my fake Amazon Prime ordered True Soul badge, I convince them not to waste one to two hours of my time saves coming to beat them. Talk to the Three Stooges, convince the world's wisest ogre to give me his horn, find a wishing well, toss in a coin, and wish for teleporting spiders. My wish came true! I show my appreciation for this gift from God by committing genocide against some endangered spiders. Seriously, I never saw any more of these spiders throughout the rest of the game, so I mean, it very much might have been genocide. And murdering the queen with my patented teabag and bolt. Just to give you an idea as to how bad this was, this is all of my deaths in this room. This has been the worst part so far. I get the feeling I'm gonna be saying this a lot during this run. Wait, do you guys hear that? Even I'm not that much of a monster. I won't get in the middle of love. It has nothing to do with the fact that I can't sneak into this fight. I swear. Pull the sword from the stone. Does this make me king? Watch as a narcissistic devil wannabe puts on a performance, but at least he said the thing. Are you not entertained? Gaze longingly at the feast behind me before being kicked out of hell. Wait, no, please, I'm so hungry! Damn. Bathe in the blood and viscera of some weird hyenas. Ma! Yo, there's a stray cat outside! Before I get back to the mediocre comedy, let it be said, this fight went far better than I thought it would. It's normally pretty rough, since at this point they all have two attacks and you only have one, but I kind of just managed to pick them off one by one. Don't worry, it still took like an hour, until it was just me and Big Bad Actual Cannibal Blim. But yeah, I just ran in circles and shot him. Easy as. Acquire the beholder in a bottle and cut off all the hyena ears like a fucking weirdo. I really need my meth, man. I haven't had any in so long and I got the shakes and there's no fantasy methadone. Also, what is with all these people who were killed holding like five pounds of just sausage in their bag? Like, can you imagine just the smell of a week old room temp sausage following their asses around? Actually, no wonder they're all dead. Take a detour to grab a new hood ornament, but opt to trade it in for store credit. Okay, so quick fact I learned. Apparently, if you leave Gale's corpse lying around after ignoring his phantom, he, uh just ends the game. Nice sadistic touch, Larian. I approve. So, after trading in a head for store credit, finally make it to the goblin camp. I did that on purpose. I swear. Use my face tap powers to get in. Have a few brews with the boys while I watch a shitty bard. Get my foot licked by a filthy casual. And save the goblins from the owlbear cub. Aw, so cute. Walk through the front door like I own the place. Uh, yeah, I know the, the person in charge. I swear, yeah, the dr the drow. Yeah, yeah, no, they asked for me personally. Swear on me, mum? Phew. Look, girl, I'm not into goblins or being branded. Yeah, yeah, sure. You can help me with the friendly neighborhood headworm. Sure. Kill one of my goblin groupies, buy some shit from a filthy, disgusting slaver. I will kill you later. I promise. Even I have standards. Walk in on the Squid Whisperer trying to dance a corpse back to life. Absolute. Oh shit, it actually worked. Uh, no, I, yeah, no, I it couldn't have been there. I'm with you. Yeah, trust me. We've known each other for what, 30 seconds? Have I ever done you wrong? Thanks, bro. I'm gonna kill you along with the slavers. Talk to Drow Mommy. Yes, no, I don't know where the camp is. Sure, I'll torture a dude. I got you, girl. Take a detour on my way to a little casual torture to let a friendly bear loose on some goblins. Holy shit, the bear turned into a human. I said, holy shit, the bear turned 
There we go. Jesus. Can't believe I wasted some of the good stuff on this. Pillage a meat crate. <laughs> meat crate. Take a government mandated break. I did this for the permanent buff since I'll need all the help I can get, but I feel a little violated. Thank you. Accidentally let the prisoner go. Oh, whoops. And head to camp for the weirdest wet dream I've ever had. Say hello to my stunningly beautiful dream girl. Tell her she's gorgeous. Living with a bear. Cram my brain full of the world's weirdest performance enhancing drug. What? The girl in my dreams told me to do it. I even hear her when I'm awake now. That won't work. I can tell this is healthy behavior, especially considering that the only things in my camp are a walking corpse and a murderous owlbear cub. Aw, so cute. Oh, and also now a chest full of explosives. I'm probably not on any lists. I seem totally well-adjusted and healthy. Maybe I should collect the corpses of all the dead companions and put them in the chest too. Nah, too much time. Unless... Thoroughly enjoy myself killing some filthy slavers and begin teabagging my way through the goblin camp one goblin at a time. On a real note, thank God for the rafters here. I would not have been able to do this section with relative ease if I couldn't lure the goblins so well. Break up the monotony of teabagging with a little casual vandalism and break into my new collection of explosives for Mr. Squid Whisperer. No, no, don't worry about it, dude. These barrels of highly volatile explosives are for redecorating. I just wanted to spice up your throne. We've met, what, twice? Have I ever done you wrong? Do the Squid Whisperer very wrong and take a gander at this amazing loot pile. Shiny. Sell out the grove for a chance at that drowissy. I will regret this later, post grove clarity. Before I rest to begin the invasion of the grove, I wanted to see if I could get the tieflings to leave so I wouldn't have to commit war crimes and instead kill a bunch of shape-shifting hippies, but Alas, it turns out if you tell them to leave early, Zevlor is like, over my dead body. So I guess it will be over your dead body. Just later. Wow, what a speech. Shame I'm gonna literally stab you in the back. Watch as an ogre takes up football and make my way over to commit absolutely terrible war crimes. On a real note, this is the reason I had never finished an evil run before. Slaughtering the innocent tieflings, literally cowering in fear is just horrifyingly evil. So where was I? Ah, war crimes before moving on to the hippies. This should be easy. I said this should be there we go, finally. So head back and report to the most literal interpretation of violently horny that I have ever seen and have a weird mind flirting session. Can you imagine if the average dude could do this to a woman? It would be disastrous. Never should this level of violation ever be attainable. So I know that I just got back from a goblin rager, you know, having some brews with the gobby boys, but it's time for a war crimes party. Screw the Geneva Convention. I've got headworms that give me powers at no cost. Definitely no cost at all. Get knee deep in that draw wussy. This scene is like straight up porn, by the way. Really wasn't expecting that after having seen some of the other scenes. Makes them look tame, except the bear. He's free range. Apparently slung dong so good that she tried to stab me in my sleep. Definitely because I did well in bed. Yeah. I was going to move straight onto the mountains, but I realized that I was kind of weak and pathetic at level four. So I figured I'd take a detour to the beautiful wetlands to the south. Have a run in with some vagabonds harassing a sweet old lady and side with them. Yeah, that's right. Oh, your sister's gone? I don't know. Figure it out yourselves. Anyway, find the ugliest sheep I've ever seen and talk to B-list Van Helsing. Heh. <laughs> he has no idea I already killed Asterion. Wonder what would happen if I brought him the body. Might try this later. So I find the sweet old lady again, forcing her granddaughter to eat like a pig for the slaughter. Oh, you can help me? Yeah, no. That's my favorite eye. I also happen to like this tadpole. I get lonely without it. Have you ever met Withers? Hardly a conversationalist. So I shoot her in the back and chase her into the basement, which I very much regret a lot. Oh, you can see the future. So cool. Sucks her batshit crazy. Everyone in this room is stupid. I would never make a deal with a hag. So I drink some liquid Jordans and leap my way down to fight the hag. Let it be said, this boss fight was like pulling teeth. I fought her for way longer than I care to admit. So I saved the dumbass in distress, that lot of help you were, and proceed to die. 
a lot. This fight sucks solo. Not only did I need to use meth three times, I'm also not ashamed to admit I save scummed harder than I have ever in my entire life. So after killing her illusions as fast as possible, I ran in a circle missing crossbow shots again and again until finally she summoned more shadow clones. It's like fighting Naruto with saggy tits and grass for hair. Then I discovered her biggest weakness, a closed door. If I don't sneak, she just stands there. So I fought her like one of those Scooby-Doo montages. Yeah, that's right. I'm the best shot on this side of Faerun. I said I'm the best shot on this side. There we go. Finally, I have green Naruto begging for mercy. You want to still take the girl? Nah, my uh whole posse is waiting outside to help. Yeah, no, they just took a while to get here. A long while. Yeah, give me some of that permanent buff. Wait, you're telling me that eating a piece of your scalp will make me faster? All right, bottoms up. Get bitched at for saving the dumbass in distress and then revive her dead husband. See, I'm not a terrible guy. Sure, I killed all those innocent people, but I won't get between love. Oh, uh, but this always works in Disney movies. Well, I guess have fun with your husband. So now that I have a bottle of steroids, I take a swig and use my newfound strength to collect all the bodies of my dead companions in like a respectful way. All except Will. He's just gone for some reason. Tried bringing Asterion to Van Helsing Light, but apparently he is not only blind, but unwilling to accept a human corpse in the trade window. Grow up. This is late stage capitalism, bro. Accept the corpse. It's just part of doing business. I'm still not quite ready to move on. So I take a detour to the north, visiting a quaint little burning town. She has no idea I killed like 50 refugees, huh? Wait till she finds out and head on down to the black market. Yeah, I'm one of you, bro. Death. So, uh, don't blow up one of those barrels. Oh, you're just gonna give me the key like that? Thanks. So why is it not an option to flash the same hand signal with this lady? I don't get it. Whatever. Yeah, sure. I'll do a mission for you. Oh, yeah, I already opened that package. So, uh, yeah, sure. I'll find it. Definitely. Steal a few high explosives for later, buy a personal artist, and watch the funniest thing I've ever seen in this game. What the fuck was the point of that, bro? So I introduce his remaining friends to ye old Teabag and Dash, climb through an invisible wall that I definitely knew was there when I started this run, and head on down to Mushroom Town. Ooh, pretty. Can't wait to sow the seeds of chaos throughout this entire area. Stand on a ledge and watch the Minotaurs just... stand there? You guys aren't the brightest, are you? Wow. Really lost the genetic lottery there, my friends. Roleplay an English monarch and head on over to the murder gate. Ooh, scary murder game. Destroy a likely priceless and ancient glowing crystal with absolutely zero remorse and shoot some ominous stone figures for absolutely no reason at all. Egads, it's hideous. Introduce big eye guy to a dose of teabag and bolt. Then tell this out of touch drow it isn't Thursday. Take his crystal and stare at it to no avail pretending like I don't already know where the forge is. Take a quick detour and unwind with a nice tower defense game. Recite some poetry with ChatGPT, turn the poem into a tragedy, and then head on over to meet some shroomen. Considering that they can supposedly read my mind, I can only imagine how they were fooled into thinking I won't wipe them all out later. Like, I have murdered and pillaged. Surely it's going through my mind at least a little. Or is it more concerning if it isn't? So, introduce myself to some future victims, and- Ah, squid! Oh, wait, he's chill. Too bad I'm not. You better prepare those cheeks, squidums, cause daddy's gonna ruin you later. In, like, the least sexual way possible, I promise. Save some poor schmuck who couldn't handle a little lethal poison, and make the easiest promise of this entire run. Yeah, bro, you want me to murder an entire swath of filthy slavers? You have no idea how long. I've been waiting for this moment. Just for that, I'll murder all of you guys after them. Huh? No, I didn't say anything. Promise. Save the Bibber Boy from some Bibber Boom and murder a crazy cat lady Why, and her massive feathered scythe cats. Ah! Big Rock Dog came by to say hi during this fight. 
Hey, boy. Bye. Then I teach Rock Pooch a lesson about running away during a fight. I would never do that. Ever. Casually dig up a grave. Ah, murdering slavers makes my day. And these are only the first of many. Run a conga line of corpses and take a casual boat ride through the most objectively terrifying body of water in existence. Resist the temptation to outright murder this guy on my boat. I want to push him so bad. Make some fake friends. Spoiler alert, they're all fake. And teach this guy a history lesson. What? I'm a man of culture. Plan a casual coup, slap an eye, and resist the temptation to commit a murder-suicide when this bitch makes someone put on her shoes for her. Murder some animal abusers and realize that instead of doing the whole puzzle for getting to the forge, I can just jump here. Kill some skeletons. Wow, look at that forge. Can I even make anything I would use with this thing? Dunno, but I'm a masochist, so I'm gonna at least try to kill this lava knight dude. But before I do, gotta pay a visit to the chuckle necklace. Yeah, keep laughing, bro. See what happens. What, you thought spirits were safe? They are. That guy's just annoying. And fight the first thing I gave up on killing this run. I just can't get him out of the lava without getting absolutely clapped. Which is a great look for the next fight, huh? Actually, never mind. I just use the arrows that make it so he can't heal and easy. Now I'm much more confident about the next fight. I should not have been confident about this fight. Thank God I realized I could shoot the levers with arrows to activate them because otherwise this would have been impossible. I had to use more meth and also blood with whatever potion. I try not to think too hard about what's in that one. Just to be able to survive long enough to forge this metal armor into a corpse. Ah, sweet, sweet scimitar that I now realize I can't use. Fuck. So after that tremendous waste of time, seriously, like almost two hours, I get started on purging some filthy slavers. Tell this gnome I just love killing. Walk in on this follow me into walt's hairy embrace weirdest sermon i've ever seen and blow up some rocks with the fucking normal bombs these guys all have lazy fuckers see this is how dumb slavers are deal with this insufferable prick and successfully perform a coup all right so that's me being done with the slavers time to move on to some mushroom murder oh you thought i would be happy with that no I felt like I was cheating. So yeah, boy, I went back and killed them all. One by one. Can you imagine being near here, getting blown out of the rock and there's a single dude standing there. And I guess these two people who stayed invisible the whole time and for some reason all fought each other. Guys, I'm flattered, but it doesn't matter if you help me, I'm still gonna murder you. It's nothing personal. I just love murder. Rummage through Nier's body and you're telling me I did all of this for a broken lamp and a loot I already have. Oh, look at the owl bear. He's still new to murder, but I'm here to nurture him into that role. It's my calling, but I gotta make sure I get scratched too. He needs a friend. Tell the chonkiest mushroom in camp that I've already killed the slavers and get proposed another coup. All right, bro, rise up, but stay in camp. I can't have you help me. Kite some mushrooms and try as hard as I can to keep this guy alive to get the quest rewards and give up at the end because I was gonna kill him anyway. Kill the people who just stood around and watched and bask in the glory of everything being dead in the underdark. Well, before I head off into act two, I just want to check and make sure I murdered everyone. Oh yeah, those early goblins. Dead. That one praying chick in the burning town. Really doing her a favor. Ending her suffering, you know? And the Githyanki at the mountain pass entrance. Let's go ahead and... There we go. All right, let's head to the lift. Wait, how did I miss you? Oh, that's how. Wait, you didn't think I was done, did you? No. I've got more killing to do. I might have bent the rules a little bit, but I ain't going that far. Before I make my way over there, there's something I wanted to look at. Originally, when I was starting this run, I wanted to do a multi-class ranger. So I'm going to respec now. Changing to five levels of ranger with two rogue was so much better. Gloomstalker gives me a free attack at the start of each combat, two attacks per action, some sneak-related spells, and a way better sneak. Like, look at this. Bro is breathing on me and is like, where did he go? So after thanking Withers profusely, I make my way into the mountain pass. Tell this lady I'll get a hold of a special egg for her morning omelets and make my way over to the Githyanki. Watch this halfling get dunked on, enact a fatal abolition, kill some 100 odd year old majestic birds, just cuz. Wander into the front door of a secret base and face no consequences. Take a nap in the bug chair, have some nightmares. 
and let out my anger on the entire base. Tell this lady, no, no, I work for you. Well, covered in the blood of her closest family, show her it was a mistake to trust me and make my way over to the end of this area. Tell this guy to pray to his god before I dunk on him and his hive mind before meeting his god. Wow, I meant the pray thing more figuratively? She tells me she likes my killing. Thanks, it's an art. Tell her to solve her own problems and get smited? Smot? Smut? No, that's something else. Go back and lie through my teeth about killing whoever's in there. Take a magic school bus ride into the powerhouse of the relic? No, I didn't come here to kill you. I just wanted to see you again. Yeah, no, you're good, boo. I'm gonna head out, though. Yeah, see ya. I'm gonna start Act 2 as soon as I finish making this video, so subscribe if you want to see the rest. All right, thanks for watching.